There are reports that uh, Jack Shepard fled to Georgia. The Met Police wouldn't comment on that, but when asked, they did say that recent media reporting has generated a number of lines of inquiries. The family will be hoping for a massive step forward to finally get him behind bars. James Mesh is on Brighton Beach, where fans have gathered to watch the game. It's a match in which England cannot afford any mistakes. Let's go live to our reporter, James Mesh. Meghan and Harry, we didn't choose you for your names, we promise. This same very desk where Virginia Woolf rewrote the rules of writing. The crash is now being investigated by the IOPC, the body that looks into police conduct. And each pays tribute to the men awarded the Victoria Cross for their actions in the Sabruga raid a hundred years ago. The interesting thing about them is that they're all made by veterans. Lawyer Mark Lay Morgan, acting for Sussex Police, said the allegations amount to gross misconduct. Police moved to Longfield Road, searching areas by the train line. This is a community left in shock, looking for answers. James Nish, BBC South East Today, New Ash Green. Examples like these caught on CCTV, the ones Network Rail want to put a stop to. I know you would understand and lower the price for Canby. Thank you, Lewis Walker, age eight. Last month, the company rode back to Lewis, saying they were hoping to meet with the NHS again. That meeting is tomorrow. Any further delays will be unforgivable. And James, what more did the coroner have to say? Well, she found evidence of drinking and also of speeding, but nothing near the 130 miles per hour which had been claimed. Well, we can speak now to our reporter, James Niche. James, how significant is it that the search has moved to Dartford? Kent police say they were widening their search for the missing mum of five. And James Niche is at the youth centre that they're going to be visiting in Peacehaven. And James, uh, clearly, it's going to be a big day for them there. It's going to be a special day for Sussex. And as you say, it's going to be one big special day for this youth centre in Peacehaven. And it's a journey back home tonight that for many means an extra hour on the road. OK, James, so what happens next? Mr Page will be back in central London to fight the appeal of losing his job as a magistrate that's likely to take place later this year in April or May. The atmosphere here is electric, kick-off in a few minutes and everyone's excited. Mm.